La 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 la. Are you ready? I am. We're ready for season two. It's Friday. And it's five to five. And that can mean only one thing. Welcome back to Five to Five, and we're excited, aren't we? We've got seven action-packed episodes filled with event planning information, celebrity VIP guests in our hot seat, Ooh. and a quiz where you can win a weekend. What's the What's the prize, Kungam? The prize will be a relaxing weekend in the private pool suite. Breakfast, airport transfer, a dinner for two with a bottle, uh, a bottle of wine, and a cocoon spa in the nest. Oh my goodness, now that is a prize you want to win. So to win that, you have to answer seven questions correctly. And each week we're asking a question. So follow us over the seven weeks. And in the comments box below, whether you're looking at us and viewing us on Facebook, LinkedIn or YouTube, post your answer. We'll be checking all the answers. And those that have seven correct answers over the seven weeks will go into our lucky draw. And on the eighth episode, we'll be drawing and announcing the winner who wins a weekend for two at the slate. Oh my goodness. And this week, we're talking about location. Oh yeah. And we are at the Slate, which is in Phuket. Now, Phuket is Thailand's largest island. And domestically, it's a one hour, 20 minute flight south from Bangkok. And Phuket is an international airport and served by many international and domestic flights. So it's very easy to get to, isn't it? Yes, it's very com convenient to get to here. And Phuket being the biggest island connected to the mainland by a bridge, historically over the past 50 years, tourism has gravitated to the south and the middle part of the island. But we're in the north at... At Nayang Beach. Which is on the edge of Sirinap National Park. Now that means that we're blessed with a great location at the moment because we're under 10 minutes away from the airport, aren't we? Yes, we will be here at the Slate within the 10 minutes from the airport. But we're far enough away from the airport to be off the flight path, so we never see an air airplane flying above, but we're close, so it means that it's easy to get to. Now, when I look at the script and when I look at brochures and go online, it says that we're under 10 minutes transfer away from the airport. We need to test this. So through the science of technology, we have cloned you. So with our Kun Gam clone, who's now at Phuket International Airport, we're going to follow Gam with our outside broadcast to see actually how long it takes to get from the airport to the hotel. So let's go to our outside broadcast. Kun Gam, are you there? I am. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Today I'm at the airport and I'm going to take you to the hotel by taking a real time and see how many minutes we are from here to the slate. I'm having Kun Boy here with us and we're ready to take off. Kun David in the studio, please take a timer started. Take off car. The airport doesn't look busy today and uh, for Phuket we have um, the airport on the north of the island. There are two terminals which is the international terminal where I'm taking off and there is another terminal where is the domestic terminal. The weather looks good, Phuket looks busy and Kun Boy is going to take us on a short ride I hope within the 10 minutes and in this area after like we're leaving the gate of the airport you might see from the window here that there are um, a lot of shops and restaurants and pharmacies it's very convenient here because there is an um, airport taxi 24 hours and there are um, the grab taxi service but for the slate, when you're coming with us and having a conference event, we can help you plan on the logistic um, airport pickup and drop off uh, according to the many phase of the group um, flights. We're having two types of um, transportation. We have the SUV, that's the one I'm taking on right now, and we have a mini 
van with the eight seaters with the cabinet for the luggage as well so no worries with the the size of the group we can manage to get everyone transport to the hotel at the same time with many vehicles we can arrange for you now it's now is two minutes so let's get back to the studio so we'll come back to Kungam shortly and see how the transfer is doing hopefully it is within the 10 minutes as uh, normally it is and what else can we talk about the location um, the location i think with the the Phuket, as you know, like there are so many activities and sight to see and a lot of things um, to do in Phuket. But um, important thing is that, you know, when you come to Phuket, you're thinking of the offshore activity, the island hopping. That's the famous activity when you come to Phuket. And being on the north, and it's like a hub to get to the pier or to the marina to get onto the boat to get to um, island like Pipi Island and uh, those uh, beautiful sites to visit. So great location for the day trips by boat to the offshore islands. Yes. Uh, and another plus for staying at the Slate. And when you're at the Slate, at our wonderful location, we cover a large space of tropical gardens. How big? 25 acres. Oh my goodness. Meanwhile, with our airport to hotel transfer, let's go back to Kungam and find out where she is. So here is the glass bottle of water and then because we have our own bustling, we have our own water plantation and this is how we serve water. We don't use plastic anymore. And this is a standard in every transportation. We, uh, we provide this in the car as well as a very nice smell jambaga or um, towels to wipe your face when you feel like the temperature is a little bit hot. <laughs> and then this is, you know, a very nice refreshing um, service on the car. We are at five minutes and I think we are almost there, give or take about another two or three minutes. So um, I think let's take us back to the studio. I think Kun David and another Gam, another me waiting. And recently we had uh, David Hayes from Jand Events who came <laughs> over and we took him on a walkabout. I think we exhausted him yeah. after taking him just around part of the 25 acres. So you could stay with us for a week and there's still so much to explore in our gardens and tropical landscape. Yes, uh, apart from that we have like sculptures and design that you can enjoy looking around within the hotel landscape. Every corner that you turn at this hotel, you'll bump into art. Art is not a Thai person. It's the colourful art that's been installed at the hotel. Yes. And we are a Bill Bensley design hotel. Yes, we are. And we're going to have our first hot seat where we invite a special guest to talk about their topic and passion. And for this week, who better to have than Claude, our general manager? My boss. Yeah. So let's go over to boss in the hot seat. Good afternoon, my name is Claude, I'm the lucky manager here at the Slate on the northern shore of Phuket. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of that beautiful property. Uh, the Slate was opened in 1986 uh, and it was called the Pearl Village. At that time, uh, Phuket tourism was really at the beginning and that was one of the really first uh, five-star luxury hotel uh, on the island. Uh, later on, many years later, uh, around 2004, uh, the owner decided to take a complete uh, different turn and completely redesign uh, that beautiful property, the Pearl Village, and turn it uh, into what was called at that time uh, the Indigo Pearl. They, the concept came out of the history of the owner and the tin mining. Um, that was, you know, the major industry here in Phuket before, uh, before tourism uh, came our family owner family were very involved uh, in tin mining. Uh, so they, they hire a, a famous uh, architect, interior designer, uh, Bill Bensley, and that's how 
by talking with the owner and, and finding the history of the family, decided to, to completely redesign that property uh, into this industrial uh, team and, and, and tin mines and all uh, different kind of uh, very strong, strong DNA. So the slate was, uh, sorry, the Indigo Pearl uh, runs until 2017, where the name changed to now what is called uh, the slate. But basically the hotel is the same. The design is the same. It's still the same owning family. It's an independent property. It's, uh, it's on a big piece of land. It's 25 acres. Uh, we have 210 rooms, eight bars and restaurants, lots of meeting space, lots of outdoor uh, space for, for catering, for, for different events, from, from small corporate events to, you know, big wedding, uh, to mice, to conference. So everything's to, to cater for all, all different market. We also cater to leisure market. We have uh, a three swimming pool, two adult pool, one, one family pool, and a different range of accommodations. We do have our pearl bed suites, uh, range up to 600 square meter pool villa, uh, one bedroom and two uh, bedroom pool villa. So it's perfect resort for family, perfect for uh, a mice, an incentive, a corporate retreat uh, or from very small uh, group to larger group up to 300, uh, 400 uh, guests. So we have all the facilities to cathars to international clients. We only not even eight minutes to Phuket International Airport. So that's a big plus, I think, for, for MICE organizer and events. Thanks, Claude, for that really informative uh, insight into the slate and the history. Originally Pearl Village. Yes, Pearl Village and a great transition to Indigo Pearl and now... The, the slate. slate! So we hope that you're still tuning in to our 5 to 5. <laughs> And uh, for our next piece, we're going to have the quiz. This is your chance to win a weekend. Our first question for win a weekend is, name the hotel ballroom. Is it one, trinket room, two, grand ballroom, three, Tonka Hall or for tin mine? Post the answer in the comment box below on Facebook, LinkedIn or YouTube and also please like and share this episode on your social media channels. Don't forget, if you get all seven questions correct over the next seven weeks, you're in it to win it with our lucky draw to win a weekend for two at the Slate. So, don't forget to post your answers in the comment box below and we'll be checking all seven weeks' answers and finding out who's going into the lucky draw to win the weekend for two. And I think that's it from about the location, isn't it? But we need to go back to Kungam on our, your clone on our live outside broadcast and see how she's doing on the transfer. She must be pretty close to the hotel now. Well, we are here in front of the hotel gate and ready to arrive. I'll see you there, Kun David and Gam, another Gam. And Kun David, we're making a great progress, smooth journey, and I am here at the car park. So thanks to Kungam's clone and our outside broadcast today. And as you can see, it's a breeze to get to the slate under 10 minutes. And we look forward to welcoming you to the slate, whether you're coming here on holiday or planning an event with Kungam at the wonderful facilities that we have here. In future episodes, we're talking about dining. We're talking about our event spaces indoors and out and so much more. So please tune in every Friday at 5 to 5. See you next Friday. <laughs> <laughs>